It's summer in your first year in Stardew Valley. You've had an awesome, productive spring because you had a look at my previous spring crops guide video, which I'll link at the end and now it's time to prepare for summer. We head back to Pierre and you're elated to see that this time he has 11 total crops for sale. Alright, same as before. What's the best crop for experience? What makes you the most money? What's needed for the community center? Let's investigate. Let's begin with the community center summer crops bundle. There is four of them. The melon, tomato, blueberry and the pepper. Funny thing is you need a few more for the community center but we will touch on them later. Summer is actually very busy in regards to the community center for crops. So be informed and don't miss anything like I've done several times. The melon. The buying price is 80 gold and it sells for 250 gold. It takes 12 days to grow and you'll get two harvests in per season. They are worth 27 farming XP each, so a solid 54 total. Now these guys will make you 14.17 gold per day, which is the second highest on the list. The tomato, the first multi-harvest crop. Buying price is 50 gold and they sell for 60 gold each. They take 11 days to grow and will produce every 4 days, so you will be able to harvest these 5 times. Each harvest is worth 12 XP, so you can get a total of 60. More than the melons actually. Now they will make you 9.26 gold per day, which is pretty decent on the list. The Blueberry, another multi-harvest crop. The buying price is 80 gold. Now each harvest produces you 3 berries and each of those sell for 50, which is 150 gold total. They take 13 days to grow and then regrow every 4 days, allowing for a maximum of 4 harvests. Now each time you pick them, although you get 3 berries, you will only get 10 XP each time, which is a total of 40, which is kind of low. But it's made up because these guys make you 20.8 gold per day, which is the highest on the list. Low XP, but very high gold. Nice. The Hot Pepper. Multi-harvest, buying for 40 gold, and they sell for 40 gold. They take 5 days to grow, and then every 3 days, meaning you get 8 harvests in total. Each harvest will give you 9 XP, which is a total of 72 for the season, which is actually fantastic. They make you 10.77 gold per day, which is also pretty high. The pepper has some awesome numbers, so make sure to get some of these. Next up is wheat, which is something you also need for the community center. You need 10 of them total, and since the 1.5 patch, they don't all need to be the same quality. Buy them for 10 gold and they sell for 25 gold. They can grow all the way through summer and fall. 6 harvests in summer and 13 total if you include fall. They make you 6 XP each. So 36 for summer and 78 for summer and fall. This crop will make you 3.75 gold per day, which is quite low on the list. So these are actually quite low on the list overall, but you do need them for the community center. The Radish, something not needed for the community center. Buying price is 40 gold and they sell for 90 gold. They take 6 days to grow and you will get 4 harvests in for the season. You get 15 XP for each one, so a total of 60 for the season. These guys will make you 8.33 gold per day, which is average on the list but a higher XP gain, so not a bad crop. Let's cover the corn. It's needed for the community center and it's a multi-harvest crop. Buying price is 150 gold and it sells for 50 gold. They take 14 days to grow and they will regrow every 4 days, through summer and fall. So 4 harvests in summer and 11 if you include fall. They get you 10 XP each, so 40 for summer and 110 for fall. This crop is pretty decent for XP if you let it do its thing. They will make you 1.92 gold for summer and 7.41 gold if you include fall. Those are actually some bad gold numbers, but it's needed for the community center, so there you have it. So let's quickly cover the three flowers in this season, two of which are required for the community center. The poppy. Now this is a CC flower. You buy them for 100 gold and they sell for 140 gold. They take 7 days to grow, so a maximum of 3 harvests per season. You get 20 XP for each of them. That's pretty significant for a flower. That's 60 XP in the season, that's more than the melons. They make you 5.71 gold per day, so the profit is kind of low, but good XP though. The Sunflower, also needed for the community center. You buy them for 200 gold and they sell for 80 gold. They grow through summer and fall. They take 8 days to grow, so 3 harvests for summer and 6 for fall. 
you get 14 XP for each flower, so 42 XP in summer and 84 if you include fall. The gold made from this is negative 15 per day. Wait, what? Negative? Jeez, that's a bummer. But the sunflower has a special something. Whenever you harvest a flower, you could get extra seeds from it. These six gave me eight, so it's kind of like a multi-harvest crop. Also, just a side note, we never go to Jojo Mart because they are always more expensive than Pierre, except for the sunflower. Oddly enough, the sunflower is sold for 125 gold there, which is half the price of Pierre. It's the only crop that's cheaper. If you want to grow sunflowers, always reuse the seeds they drop for you to save on their high buying price. The Spangle, not used in the community center, buy them for 50 gold and they sell for 90 gold. They take 8 days to grow so you can harvest 3 of them. 15 XP per flower so a total of 45 for the season. They make you 5 gold per day. So they are a pretty low crop in terms of XP and gold. Now I've saved this one till last. Hops. Before I get into hops I will point this out. I have never bought hops before. I've had players in the channel community ask me if I was going to buy hops when I entered summer in my current let's play and I said no to them. When I first read hops ages ago, I saw that it was a multi-harvest crop that is harvested every day when it grows. So that is a lot of micromanagement. The daily requirement was the thing that turned me off from it. Now let's see what I have to say. So hops, you buy them for 60 gold and they sell for 25 gold. They take 11 days to grow and then they're harvestable every day for a total of 17 in a season. They make you 6 XP for each one which is a total of 102 XP for the whole season. Wow, that is the highest crop in terms of XP by far. They also make you 13.52 gold per day, which is the third highest on the list, so really, hops is a solid choice. In terms of money, the channel community were probably referring to the keg strategy because making hops into pale ale is one of the best return on investment money making methods in the game. So best XP in the season and has the potential to be incredibly profitable. Now has this changed my mind? Yes and no. I will definitely buy some in the future because of their XP value, but not for their money gain. Because this crop is so involved, it puts me off. I don't want to be at my crop field gathering hops every day. I don't like that playstyle. I'd rather have crops that are every other day and spend my time doing other things. That's just me though. The hop is definitely one of the best crops in the game, one of the highest XP gainers and you can make a lot of money. I'm not going to deny that. I'll give it a go people and see how you like it. It's funny how some of those lower profitable crops have a higher XP gain than those big hitters. Now was this guide helpful? If you guys enjoyed it and learned something new be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more guide videos and a let's play, check out the channel and consider subscribing if you enjoy the content. Until next time guys, cheers. Peace out.